Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. I'm outside. I had some, some gentlemen ask me, so I thought I'd just do a quick video on uh, how I have things set up here. And so, uh, excuse the noise uh, with roosters and everything else. Not as quiet inside the house. Uh, I was going to show you here. Uh, as you can see up here, I'll uh, do a better view. Sorry about that. Just have to see the barrel here. Uh, I have water that's feeding here into the barrel and it feeds the house. Now the reason why I have this set up like this is because uh, so out of water. You're out of water, not saying it'll happen, but it used to happen all the time. Anywhere from 7 to 10 in the morning, the water in town. And then uh, some days, three days, four days, five days, no water. So I said to myself, here in the Philippines, I'll just make sure I get a uh, this is 60 uh, kilo of water in a barrel. My wife and I just put a uh, you know toilet flow valve in only, not out, and then feed the water. It's just gravity fed, as you can see behind me, gravity fed into th this house. This house, uh, we have it uh, direct into this house, uh, my ex expandable house. There no reason we were going to do it, but then we got thinking, we don't really use a lot of the... Of the bathroom that much uh, if we need to use the bathroom we come over to the expandable house and the water so here is the viewing I know it's kind of hard to see because as you can see what I did see the expandable house and then here's our what we call our blessing house here and I bought extra sandwich panel I'll go show you that put a fence around the property I have um, let's see it is 10 meter by over a little over 30 meter it's actually a little over 10 meters like 10 meter almost 11 meter uh, they gave us extra for the for the car the car driveway is actually going to come right into here and come on down here is uh, remember I said another video about my well here's my little well of water it's just sandwich panel I can actually uh, make a garage right here put my concrete pad down and make a garage uh, very simply just using this sandwich panel uh, just interlocks as you know and then you just put a track on the bottom track on the top you interlock it and it's locked you can use uh, sealer to seal it uh, some uh, some silicone but here what they did here from China this is how we got it they did not do any sealing at all they actually just met the two edges together. We've got a top piece, we've got a bottom piece, and then slid the tracking into it, the sandwich panel into it. These, these panels are two and a half meter tall and one meter wide. So it gives us plenty of, plenty of room. And as you can see, the expandable house, this is a little bit about the expandable house, I mean our uh, blessing house. This is something that we have, we bought. Because here in the Philippines, you have to have electric. What they do is, if you have something that you build, it has to be under a certain square meter. Then they will charge you accordingly on the square meter of the house. If they see American, they will charge you more. So what we did, we built this three meter by four meter house. Went and applied for the electric got the electric brought into this house. When the expandable house came, we ran it to the expandable house, and then we have there. Electric ended up cost me $1,000, start to finish, including wire. I had to pay for the wire from pole here, uh, the labor, uh, all the things, the fees, the new account fees, just fees. If it would have normally been a normal day here, and I did my thousand would have turned into two, three, four thousand, because they just charge fees. Now, since my wife is Filipina, she went down there, talked to them. Uh, we actually had to have our neighbor, which worked for the company, to help us out because the uh, it's hard to get electric in a lot of cases because there is a waiting list, and sometimes you can wait one month, two month, three months. And if it wasn't for our neighbor helping us out getting the electric and the water, 
we would have not had electric and water at the time frame that we had it. She actually helped us get water. It was going to be until December of us getting water. And as you know, we were in the house in October, September, October, and had water. And basically, you just run a line, uh, one inch line of uh, just basically irrigation hose from the main point out the street and run it down and then branch it off into the homes. And you have, sometimes you have good water pressure, sometimes you don't. Luckily, we have good water pressure here. So, a blessing house, tiled. We do our laundry, of course, goes upstairs, another floor up there. And then, of course, the CR here, full shower, bathroom, toilet, whole nine yards. Uh, sink, sink, kitchen. Uh, we can still have some work to do here, but it's always something to do. Give me something to do. But I want to show you this and give you an idea on uh, the water. I had many people ask me about the water. How are you doing your water? I know there's a shortage here. Water, you can actually uh, get a bigger drum than I got. You can actually buy them here. The whole three, four hundred gallon of water, and just put it on a, a metal stilts, and uh, just fill it up, and then you'll have plenty of water to do your showers and things like that. But we find that we don't need no more than 60 kilo, and if it's off more than two, three days, we do have the well. We can actually take a shower from the well. The well is clean water, very clean water. It's muggy this morning, but normally it's clean water, uh, crystal clear. So thank you for watching, and please hit subscribe.